first to have the Zuckerberg name. It's a blessing when it comes to her bank account and perhaps a curse when it comes to creating her own identity. But Mark Zuckerberg's sister is doing just that. Gone from Facebook, she's now launching her next project. Tonight, the interview with Randy Zuckerberg. When you look at her Facebook timeline, it's a lot like everyone else's family gatherings, weddings, and Halloween costumes. But then, there's the name. Is there a time where you don't give out your name or just say, hey, I'm Randy, and you don't want to go there with Zuckerberg? <laughs> um, sometimes I like people to make a first impression of me that's not based on my last name. It's, it's really refreshing to make human connections with people that aren't based on, you know, who are you and what can what can you do for me and um, and then sometimes you know it's nice to do a little name dropping. <laughs> Thirty-one year old Randy Zuckerberg, yes, Mark's older sister, has rocked and rolled ever since she arrived in the Silicon Valley. She's now written two books, part memoir and part self-help, navigating kids and adults through the world of high tech. But it was Randy who navigated away from Mark just hours after she organized President Obama's visit to Facebook headquarters. Uh, my name is Barack Obama, and I'm the guy who got Mark to wear a jacket and tie. I thought, to me, the most interesting part of your book was the day you left Facebook, or at least told your, your kid brother, I should say. Uh, President Obama in town, that was a huge thing, especially around here, the town hall that you, put, that you hosted, and then what, you walked up, you walked home, you, you bumped into Mark at home, and, and how did it go from there? We lived in the same neighborhood. I just kind of blurted it out that, you know, I felt like I was ready to leave. It's one of those moments where you say something, and then you're like, oh, words, go back in, go in. But um, it had clearly been in my mind for a long time and in my heart. Um, I'm so grateful to the experience that I had at Facebook. I'm so grateful to my brother for including me in that amazing journey. Um, but it was also really important to me to make a name for myself too. And that's something you'll read in the book a lot is my own struggles with loving Facebook, but not wanting to always be Mark Zuckerberg's sister. And that brings me to that. Your mom's a psychiatrist, so I'm not going to go there. <laughs> but is it Mark's big sister or is it Randy Zuckerberg? I talk about a lot in the book how I felt like I had to perform to a much higher standard than my colleagues to even be taken seriously the same way. Um, but again, it's obviously opened up a lot of doors for me, a lot of opportunity. But one thing you have to know about Mama Zuckerberg is you go into that house and all four of her kids are equal. It doesn't matter if you've created a multi-billion dollar company or if you've just baked a great apple pie, like every kid's achievement is equal, which I think is, is so great about our family. Tell me the negotiation process when you were going to work for Facebook. What was the contract offer and how was it done? I was coming from basically a minimum wage job in New York. I don't even know how I lived on the salary that I made. So all I could think of was getting a better paycheck. I didn't I didn't know anything about equity and stock options and Silicon Valley and startups. That was not a world I knew anything about. So when my brother offered me a comp package that had equity and salary, I didn't I wasn't thinking about the equity. I was just like, I want to not make minimum wage anymore. And uh, he's like, no, 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 trust me. Where was the deal done, and was it on a cocktail napkin? It was on a cocktail napkin in the uh, original Facebook office above a Chinese restaurant in downtown Palo Alto, and I did not save the napkin. I wish I did, because that would be framed somewhere right now. <laughs> A colorful personality indeed. We should note the Zuckerberg clan is migrating from New York. The sisters and parents have all bought houses near Mark in the Palo Alto, Los Altos area. And we've posted the segment on our website. You can also find our other high-profile interviews there. Just go to NBCBayArea.com forward slash the interview.